Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Franku. I don't know if you can see the sign, but it's basically now out of focus. But it's a boy, Brain Coon, back with a new video, a new tech video, as I said. In today's video, we are going to be talking about is the iPhone 13 Pro Max or 13 in general worth buying or worth your money? So, without further ado, so let's get into it. Apple recently released, just recently, not too long ago, released the iPhone 13 Pro. It's been like two weeks, three weeks, I believe so. I've given it some time to talk about it. People have sat on it, people have experienced it, people have bought it and experienced the new cameras, the new features on it. And they have their opinion and I was also able to form my opinion. The iPhone 13 is great iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max are great, especially the Pro Max 6.7 inch display, HDR, brand new cameras, uh, macro lens, telephoto, 12 megapixel, the ability to shoot 4K videos at 30 and 60 frames per second, the A15 Bionic chip with a 6 core CP CPU, uh, what else, what else do you need me to name? Nice battery life, but not the most amazing battery life with its cinema cinematic mode. But here comes the but. Here comes the but and the phrase. But when it comes to the brand behind the ad, the brand of Apple behind it, and their name and their fucking claim to be the first tech company, this is not something new. When you compare it with different phones, different brands, for example, the most obvious one that all people compare with a Samsung. When you compare the brand new iPhone 13 with Samsung, with Samsung S21, you know, there is a lot of indifferences, you get me? For example, the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 13 have a 120 Hertz refresh rate. For the iPhone 13, I believe it's 60. For the, S2, for the Samsung S21, Galaxy S21, it is, for all models, 120 hertz refresh rate. So that's where you see the, 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 the lack when it comes to iPhone and different brands. Also, cameras. That is nothing new. We've seen phones before shooting 4K, 30 frames, 60 frames, 240, 120. The Samsung, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S21 goes up until I believe 940 or 920 frames per second at 720p. So that's basically HD, good quality, super, super slow motion. That's nothing new. The macro, the macro cameras, nothing new. We've seen it before. So am I amazed by the iPhone 13? For an iPhone, yes. For a smartphone, no, because what we've seen from previous phones and different brands than the iPhone before two, three, four years ago, we are just recently seeing it on the iPhone. Basically, I believe that the S10 have a 120 hertz refresh rate. The iPhone 7, I believe, that was the generation of iPhone 10, I believe. Yes, the iPhone 10, 8. They don't have that. They don't have. A, they don't have the base, the basic functionalities. Samsung. I'm not. I'm not here to shit on the brand Apple. I'm not. I'm not here to shit on that. But every. No, but but every fucking you know, smartphone brand out there has been on a shut. We haven't seen anything new, or anything staggering, or anything amazing, coming when it comes to smartphones, basically. Anything that has to do with smartphones, we haven't seen anything great from Samsung. Samsung, yes, they came out with a folding phone, but that's not amazing. We just made the screen flip. That's it. Every component in there is basically the same as every other Samsung. But what Apple has been doing is they have been promoting their phones as being the best phone in the world. But when you compare it to different brands and different big brand names, it does not compare when you come when you compare old generation phones basically two to three generations back they do not compare 
they just recently caught up with the big brands like Samsung. They just recently implemented what big brands have been doing when, come, when it comes to the A15 Bionic chip. In the Samsung, you have the Snapdragon, the latest Snapdragon. That shit is fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. I'm sorry for my language, but that shit is fast. That shit can compare it to the A15 Bionic chip. It's not as fast as the A15 Bionic chip, but it does the job. It's an amazing performance fucking software. But, but, I give this to Apple. When it comes to the software, when it comes to cameras, ain't nobody doing what Apple did. So basically, basically, Apple just grabbed the DSLR and put it on the phone and said, you know what? You wanted to make amazing videos, you wanted to make great videos, here you go. I'll give you what you want. With the new cinematic mode, me as a photographer, a fan of photography, that shit is amazing. That shit is amazing. But what they need to work on is to catch up on their name, their brand name, and the fucking battery life. That shit sucks. Change your fucking batteries, Apple. Do something about the batteries. And it's been your boy, Rick Brain. That was my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you think that I, my opinion is valid or not. If you know what you think about the brand, what you if you're a if you're a fanatic about tech, if you like tech, let me know what Apple can do better, what they can change, and what they cannot change. Are they doing an amazing job? Is the iPhone 13 worth the hype? I'm gonna let you decide that, but for me, when it comes to the camera wise, I give it to it. As a photographer, I'm in love with the phone. I love it. I love it. I cannot ask for more. But as a tech, as a tech connoisseur, as a tech fanboy, it's not that amazing. What Apple has done is not that amazing. So is it worth your money? I'm gonna let you decide that. I'm gonna let you form your own opinion. For me, if I buy it, just know that I'm going to buy it for the cameras. If you're buying it for the cameras, it is totally worth your money. If you're not buying it for anything else, expecting anything else technology-wise, investment-wise, basically having this iPhone 12 or the 11 Pro Max this is, is the same thing. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my opinion. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts. Let me know what you think again. And, 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 and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you when I see you.